one guys before you get into the video at the beginning of the video I didn't plan on using this colors like I didn't plan on adding the mocha and the lime green but as I got on into the video just go into the video and see what happened anyway I hope you enjoy remember to subscribe yeah so we're gonna be doing the double layered hoop design with the happy birthday sign in the middle so let's inflate okay guys so as always i'm just using 11 inches and 5 inches that's all for a hoop i would advise you just use 11 inches if you're doing like the full circle um but if you were doing like maybe a garland and then you can add other sizes but if you're like doing the full hoop round it's it looks nicer when you just use the 11 inches and five inches and when you inflate them you under inflate them um at the moment i'm doing the five inches now and i'm making them into a bunch of clusters so all you need to do is to just inflate the five inches into 3.5 tie them into clusters of three and then use you could use a 260q to link all of them together and make a mini column that's basically it um that's the trendy kind of way people use their five inches these days and you could do that if you wish to do so but it's always nice when you have a lot of it or you have it really long it looks nicer that way for the 11 inches i only inflated them into like seven inches six inches five inches and maybe a bit of eight inches that's okay, it guys, so we're done with inflating on the, all the balloons it's time to put arrange the balloons on the frame so i'm going to start off with the aquamarine from the top all you need to do is just take uh you know like clusters of two uh and then wrap it around the frame and just make sure you're packing it tightly it is very important that you pack your clusters tightly you can see i keep pushing them together so everything will be tight because if you don't pack it tightly uh it won't look the way you want it to look um once you've packed it tightly the garland is already even without you adding the five inches you know it's already looking really like neat and well done so here i am just you know i just keep wrapping the clusters of two that is clusters of four actually and i'm alternating the color at this moment I'm, i've not even realized that the pink and the aquamarine colors were not going to be enough for me um i only guesstimated which you know i because i've not done this kind of double layered hoop before i've only done the you know the single layer kind of hope it's not a design that's kind of like popular for me most of my clients do not ask for this so I was you know arranging this I realized that the 200 bags of balloons was not just gonna be enough so I thought of adding another color to like jazz it up a bit more so I added chrome silver mocha brown and lime green all from the, the chrome silver is from Sempertex the mocha brown and lime green is from Gemma balloons so I'm going to use that to you know prop it up a bit more i think the two colors only could be boring but adding the two extra colors or three extra colors might bring it to the level we wanted so this is what i'm going to be doing i'm going to be doing it in a checkered way so the middle is kind of like looking different so let's go so for the new clusters i'm going to be adding what i'm just doing is i'm just doing like them in clusters bunches and then using 260q to tie them into the main you know the main garland that i've done and definitely checking that the colors align but i couldn't really do that with this because the the colors i'm using were not what i actually planned to use so this was like a random you know it just came to my head something i had to do on the spot so i hope you will learn from this video on you know thinking and just getting on with it and making everything work 
the best way you can so that's what i've done here that is why it's always good to have spare balloons make sure when you buy your balloons you buy enough and that is why you need to factor that aspect of buying more than enough into what you're giving the client so your prices has to include the extra balloons definitely always have extra balloons so just keep tying the clusters into the main body at each point and that is it so after you've done you know you've attached the clusters onto you need to also use clusters of three to like finish off the gaps to give it a neat look then when you're done with that you add five inches and you're good to go so in this case i tried because i didn't have enough balloons obviously so i just tried to, to you know make use of what i had if i was going to be doing this another time i'm going to make sure i have more than enough balloons i'm going to make sure i have the right colors that would sit together and i make sure it is as fabulous as it should be Obviously, my five inches are clusters of three again and some are clusters of two so i'm just trying to like make use of it as the best way i could because i didn't have five inches of the brown i didn't have five inches of the lime green um so for at the end of it just tie your happy birthday sign onto the frame all done now um like I said, this is the first time I'll be trying this uh, design. This is the first time I'll be giving it a try. Um, next time, I'll make sure I have enough of the colors I'm using. So you can imagine if you have not tried this before and you do it for a client, imagine the, the, the amount of balloons you would have to use. In my head, I was guesstimating maybe like... Uh, you know like 200 or 250 by uh, 250 um, balloons for everything but now I've used like I think I've used like almost 400 without the five inches so if I was gonna do it next time I'll plan for 500 or more as extras and then the five inches I could say like 50 of each color so that's basically it I wanted it to be really checkered kind of but because I didn't have enough of the balloons um, yeah I couldn't achieve that but I hope you enjoyed you get the gist of the old design I hope you enjoyed watching this with me please drop a comment and tell me what you think in the comment section um, so yeah see you same time next week guys bye